Morning everyone. How is everyone this Friday morning? Now, you might wonder why I'm looking a bit smarter than I usually do uh, on a Friday. Well, the answer is there's no real reason. I just thought, no, wouldn't it be nice actually to put my suit on and put a nice tie on? And that's what I decided to do today, just to do something a bit different and look very smart. And maybe when we come back after Easter, because uh, next week is the last week of term, maybe when we come back after Easter, we can think about having a really smart couple of days where we all look absolutely great. But we'll think about that and we'll decide if we're going to do that. So um, what I've been thinking about for this assembly are kind of two things, and that's thinking about where we are now and also looking forward, looking forward to what might come in the next term. And um, so thinking about where we are now, well, we're, we're less than three weeks. It seems longer than that, doesn't it? Less than three weeks since everyone came back into school. And it has been absolutely amazing having everyone back in school. It's felt like we are Swiss Gardens Primary School again, which has just been brilliant. I wonder if you could think about some of the things that you think are really, really good about being in school. Let's just pause for a second, see if you can think about some things. Okay. I bet some of you said seeing your friends. I'm sure. Put your hands up if it's really good seeing your friends back in school. Yeah, that's great. I'm sure lots of you said seeing your teachers and your teaching assistants and the other members of staff. Yeah, lots of you, I'm sure, said that. And actually, maybe some of you said just feeling a bit more like it's normal. And maybe there are some other things. Maybe that would be a good thing to have five minutes just talking with your teachers today about some of the really positive things to us all being back together as a school. So we're also going to think about looking forward to next term because hopefully next term we'll get better weather, we'll be outside even more. I know we've been outside a lot in all kinds of weathers but hopefully the weather will be better and gradually school will begin, begin to get back to even more normality. We don't know yet, we, we're waiting to find out, but hopefully uh, by the end of the summer term, uh, we'll be able to mix more within school. And let's keep our fingers crossed for that. But I love the summer, the spring and the summer. I really love it. And excuse my phone that's just going off. Um, I really love the spring and the summer. And one of the things that I think about is are these kind of things. So let's again just spend a minute thinking about this. Imagine a warm summer day. You're sitting in a park listening to the sounds around you. The breeze is rustling in the trees above your head. People are having fun, laughing, children giggling and eating ice creams, children playing football on the grass. Birds singing in the bushes smell the warm grass under your feet, the flowers growing all around you and the warmth of the sun on your back. Oh, gosh, just think about this. Close our eyes. You don't have to close your eyes. Let's just think about that for a minute. Oh, what would summer be like? And that's what we've got to look forward to next time. Let's just pause and think. Take another deep breath. Oh, won't it be lovely when we have some lovely weather and we can all get back outside and we can meet up with everyone that we want to meet up with. That will be just fantastic. And now imagine another warm summer day. You're lying on the beach listening to the sounds around you, the waves back going backwards and forwards. People paddling and splashing in the water, children digging with buckets and spades, teenagers playing on the beach, the call of the seagulls, the sun cream on you, the salty tang of the sea, feel the sand 
between your toes. And you know, that's one of the things that, if you're lucky enough to go on them, that we often look forward to, isn't it? A kind of summer holiday. And let's hope we can all get a summer holiday this year. We can get a good break because everyone in our country needs a bit of a break, a bit of a rest. But I'm feeling really optimistic. I'm feeling really hopeful that we can get to those things before too long. And we'll have that lovely weather, hopefully, uh, which will all make us feel great as well. So next week, we only have a short week. We only have a four day week. So uh, this is the last um, assembly uh, of this term. So, uh, you know, when, I, when uh, you do get your Easter break, uh, make sure you stay safe. You're thinking about being safe. Make sure if you're old enough to go out by yourself, although it's unlikely at the moment, um, that your parents always know where you are, okay? And I would like to see everyone back here safe and sound on April the 19th. I think it's April the 19th. Yeah, it's April the 19th. Right, I've got a couple of other things here, a couple of other bits. So the PTA are running a Spring Create Festival. Now, I think I was I meant to have a little bit more information about this, and I'll try and bring it round to classes later. But basically, you might remember they did an Autumn Create Festival where there were lots of good ideas and people sent in lots of pictures and other ideas about Autumn. Well, this is the same thing about Spring. And uh, they'll be giving certificates and medals and trophies to the very best. So the Spring Create Festival. And if I can find the flyer, I'll come round and give it out to all the classes today. Now, I've just dropped my house points. Hang on a sec. That's not very professional, is it? It's not very slick. Right, house points. Fourth place this week are Earth with 891. The winning class were Pelicans. Third place with 904 were Fire and the winning class Little Greaves. Second place with 1050 are Air. And the winning class are Guillemots. And the winning house, therefore, is Water. And the winning class is Sandpiper. So, well done to you guys. Should we have a cheer after three? Oh, you might have already done it. But if you have, oh, let's say you've already done it. Of course, we've got some jokes. This is from Freya in Flamingos. Knock, knock. Who's there? Parrot. Parrot who? Parrot who? <laughs> you see, parrots always repeat what you say. That's a good one, isn't it? Then I've got some from Theo and Ava in Penguins. There's a few here. Ava, what do you call a man who eats bananas? Banana man, of course. Of course. Uh, what did the frog order at the restaurant? French flies and diet croak. Oh, like a frog. What do you call a duck that's always joking around? A wise quacker. Not a wise cracker, but a wise quacker because they're a duck. And this is my favourite. How do you throw a party on Mars? These are all from Theo, by the way, in Penguins. How do you, I'll, I'll repeat that one. How do you throw a party on Mars? You plan it, because Mars is a planet, so you, pl yeah, Theo, they're good, I like those, they're very good, Theo and Ava and Freya, thank you for the jokes, great to have some jokes sent in, so, have a, have a great last week of term next week, last four days, stay safe at Easter, hope you get some Easter eggs, and let's start to think about looking forward to those great times hopefully we're going to have in the summer. Okay, have a good Friday.